Um, I just case putting your perfect on the mat. But again, sometimes um, in the transition of escaping, I can possibly go to my knees and kind of keep the tricks in. And I end up in this all fours position here, and he's still on my back. Okay? From their cars, he's got good base, good posture. Like the, my back's as straight as the table, so he's very comfortable there. And again, from that position, my weight is on my knees and on my arms, so I'm trying to defend. Yep, go for the, go for the finish. Because the weight's on my arms, yeah. it's difficult for me to free them up because the weight's actually on my elbows. So first thing I want to do is I want to free my hands. So as he's got a six minute, he hasn't flattened me out, but look at that on the next move. He's actually my hips pressed down. First thing I want to do is I'm going to put the top of my head. Super okay. Already that's turning card. My back's went from being flat to curved. So a good um, rule of thumb is I should be able to look between my legs. That's my core going. Already car starting to slide off. From this position, I'll, I'll cross grip my hands just like we did um, when we were defending the back. So I'm here. Now, if Carr tries to finish from here, it's very difficult because already sliding off my back. So the first thing I'm going to do is most people are right handed. So when his right arm comes over, I'm going to snag it with my uh, left hand, and my right hand is going to grab the tricep. So it's nearly like a shoulder drill. So from that position, Cars are already sliding off. The only thing keeping them in is this left hook. So to remove it, I'm going to straighten my left leg, bring my knee inside, and from this position, I'm going to pull it off. Okay. So I'm going to keep the grip here. I feel like a bread cutter choke. My left arm's coming over. So again, super basic, super fundamental, but high percent. So, just see cars on my back, grips in, defending, maybe he's even got the harness position, he's inside control, I'm trying to escape, I'm going to my knees, I end up here, okay, but on this position, he's got good base from here, my back is flat, he can stay here all day, and it's hard for me to free up my hands because my weight is on my knees and my elbows. So, the crown of my head, the top of my head, I put it as deep as I can. This frees up my hands, but they're just waiting. So when Carl comes in, from the stroke, I get my grip. I can even come on the ball to my feet. Start to tug them a little bit. Now I need to move this ball and push. So from here, I straighten my leg. I bring it through the face. From this position, my left hand has the wrist control. Over the top. Back with my leg. Turn. So, defending my back position. Go to all fours. Rather than keeping the weight on my elbows, put my crown on my head. I should be able to look back between my knees already. This is pausing an arch in my back. Defending with my hands. The second the hand comes over, which is most likely the right. The wrist control, arm control. And from there, it's hard. Now sometimes what can happen is when I try to remove this foot, I can also touch that. And then it's almost like um, attaching myself to me. If that's the case, I bring my left thigh and the right to the right. And from there, from here I can posture. Okay? Sometimes for people to stay on the back, instead of losing that grip across their ankles. So that one more time. So first thing I'm gonna do is I keep my grips. Cards are really sliding off. Still on. I try to remove this hook. Sometimes it's not the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my thigh in front of the bottom leg. Now from this position, it's already falling off. I'll end up in the slowest guard. And then I can start to work on this. Okay. So, let's go to the five guys.